Dynamite is an explosive made of nitroglycerin, sorbents and stabilizers. It was invented by the Swedish chemist and engineer Alfred Nobel in Giesthacht, and patented in 1867. It rapidly gained wide-scale use as a safer alternative to gunpowder and nitroglycerin. Invention, Purpose, and Use Dynamite was invented by Alfred Nobel and was the first safely manageable explosive stronger than black powder. Nobel obtained patents for his invention in England on May 7, 1867, in Sweden on October 19, 1867. After its introduction, dynamite rapidly gained wide-scale use as a safe alternative to black powder and nitroglycerin. Nobel tightly controlled the patents, and unlicensed duplicating companies were quickly shut down. However, a few American businessmen got around the patent by using a slightly different formula. Nobel originally sold dynamite as Nobel's blasting powder, but decided to change the name to dynamite, from the ancient Greek word delta upsilon nu alpha mu iota sigma dynamis, meaning power. An industrialist, engineer, and inventor Alfred Nobel's father, Emmanuel Nobel, built bridges and buildings in Stockholm. His construction work inspired him to research new methods of blasting rock. Emmanuel's work with explosives later on inspired Alfred to make explosives safer and more effective. Today dynamite is mainly used in the mining, quarrying, construction and demolition industries. Dynamite is still the product of choice for trenching applications, and is a cost-effective alternative to cast boosters. Dynamite is occasionally used as an initiator, a booster for an ANFO explosive charges. Manufacture, composition, nitroglycerin by itself is a very strong explosive, but is extremely shock sensitive, and degrades over time to even more unstable forms, which makes it highly dangerous to transport or use. Dynamite combines nitroglycerin with adsorbents and stabilizers, rendering it safe to use, but retaining the powerful explosive properties of nitroglycerin. The original composition of dynamite consisted of three parts, explosive oil, one part diatomaceous earth as the absorbent, and a small admixture of sodium carbonate and tattered as the stabilizer. Ethylene glycol dinitrate was later added to the nitroglycerin to lower its freezing point and keep it from freezing into a slush at low temperatures, which made it unstable, or from sweating out when it thawed. Diatomaceous earth is not usually used today as an absorbent medium and it has been replaced by cheaper mediums like sawdust, wood pulp, flour, or starch. Other stabilizers like calcium carbonate and zinc oxide can be used in the place of sodium carbonate. Sodium nitrate is added to the medium as an oxidizer that improves the dynamite's brisance. Form dynamite is usually sold in the form of cardboard cylinders about 20 cm long and about 3.2 cm in diameter, with a weight of about 190 grams. A stick of dynamite thus produced contains roughly 1 megajoule of energy. Other sizes also exist rated by either portion or by weight. Dynamite is usually rated by weight strength, usually from 20% to 60%. For example, 40% dynamite is composed of 40% nitroglycerin and 60% dope. Storage considerations. The maximum shelf life of nitroglycerin-based dynamite is recommended as one year from the date of manufacture under good storage conditions. Over time, regardless of the sorbent used, sticks of dynamite will weep or sweat nitroglycerin, which can then pull in the bottom of the box a storage area. For that reason, explosive manuals recommend the repeated turning over of boxes of dynamite in storage. Crystals will form on the outside of the sticks causing them to be even more shock, friction, and temperature sensitive. This creates a very dangerous situation. 
while the risk of an explosion without the use of a blasting cap is minimal for fresh dynamite. Old dynamite is dangerous. Modern packaging helps eliminate this by placing the dynamite into sealed plastic bags and using wax-coated cardboard. Dynamite is moderately sensitive to shock. Shock resistance tests are usually carried out with a drop hammer. About 100 mg of explosive is placed on an anvil, upon which a weight of between 0.5 and 10 kg is dropped from different heights until detonation is achieved. With a hammer of 2 kg, mercury fulminate detonates with a drop distance of 1 to 2 cm, nitroglycerin with 4 to 5 cm, dynamite with 15 to 30 centimeters and ammoniacal explosives with 40 to 50 centimeters major manufacturers south africa for several decades beginning in the 1940s the largest producer of dynamite in the world was the union of south africa the the de beers company established a factory in 1902 at somerset west the explosives factory was later operated by AECI. The demand for the product came mainly from the country's vast gold mines, centered on the Witwatersrand. The factory at Somerset West was in operation in 1903 and by 1907 it was already producing 340,000 cases, 23 kilograms each annually. A rival factory at Modafontine was producing another 200,000 cases per year. There were two large explosions at the Somerset West plant during the 1960s. Some workers died, but the loss of life was limited by the modular design of the factory and its earthworks, and the planting of trees that directed the blasts upward. There were several other explosions at the Modafontine factory. After 1985, pressure from trade unions forced AECI to phase out the production of dynamite. The factory then went on to produce ammonium nitrate emulsion-based explosives that are safer to manufacture and handle. United States, dynamite was manufactured by the E.I. DuPont and Amours Company until the mid-1970s. Other American dynamite makers of the time period included the Hercules Corporation, Atlas, Trojan U.S. Powder, Austin, and several other smaller firms. Currently only Dino Nobel manufactures dynamite in the U.S. The only facility producing it is located in Carthage, Missouri, but the material is purchased from Dino Nobel by other manufacturers, who put the label on the dynamite and boxes. Non-dynamite explosives other explosives are often referred to or confused with dynamite. TNT Though both TNT and dynamite are high explosives, there is little similarity between them. Dynamite is a stabilized form of nitroglycerin while TNT is the chemical compound trinitrotoluene. The energy density of dynamite is approximately 125% that of TNT, 5.0 megajoules per kilogram for dynamite versus 4.0 megajoules per kilogram of TNT. Extra dynamite. In the United States, in 1885, the chemist Russell S. Panaman invented ammonium dynamite, a form of explosive that used ammonium nitrate as a substitute for the more costly nitroglycerin. Ammonium nitrate has only 85% of the chemical energy of nitroglycerin. It is rated by either weight strength or cartridge strength. For example, high explosive 65% extra dynamite has a weight strength of 65% ammonium nitrate and 35% dough. Its cartridge strength would be its weight in pounds times its strength in relation to an equal amount of ANFO or TNT. For example, 65% ammonium dynamite with a 20% cartridge 
voltage strength would mean the stick was equal to an equivalent weight strength of 20% ANFO. Military dynamite Military dynamite is a dynamite substitute, formulated without nitroglycerin. It contains 75% RDX, 15% TNT, 5% SA10 motor oil, and 5% cornstarch, but much safer to store and handle for long periods than Nobel's dynamite. Military dynamite achieves greater stability by avoiding the use of nitroglycerin and uses much more stable chemicals. Regulation Various countries around the world have enacted explosives laws and require licenses to manufacture, distribute, store, use, possess explosives or ingredients.